All right. You must destroy them. The Earth is counting on you. Good luck. Wait, let me uh, fix the audio, make sure the audio is working. I can't remember how to play. I played this game before. So you can control the, uh, those little things, the little ball things around you, and you could press the, the A button, and then they will start rotating, and then you could, um, or you could just have them still in one thing, one direction. You must destroy them! The Earth is counting on you! Good luck! I think I would rather have it rotate. blow this up. Oh, there we go. Hey, Tony Uncle! Alright, thank you for the host. stuck yeah and this game is tough because that you, you only get like one health one life yeah i am doing well how are you let me do a shout out the earth is counting on you good luck yeah how is your stream of tubin Yeah, no problem. The more you play, the the better you get, right? You got some practice in. Some health drops would be nice. I guess they don't want to give you health drops, do they? That would make the game too easy. Yeah, I, I like the design of this game. I like the graphics. I like the music. I like the gameplay. This is a good game. It just has a very unfortunate name.
No, oh, that almost got me. Oh. You see, no health, no health items. And then game over. We'll do one more run and then we'll try a different game. You must destroy them. The earth is counting on you. Good luck. I don't like games when they do that. It's like no no health drops and just die and game over. It's just kind of that's like arcade kind of stuff. You know, it's kind of like I understand doing that if you because you want the quarters, right? But to do that in a NES game, to do that in a console game, I feel like that's not cool. You do that when you're trying to get the quarters from the kids. That's when you do that. Putting arcade tactics in a... What if you paid 50 bucks for this game when it came out? That's not enough. I'm getting better. I took less hits in that first section. Oh, whoop, whoop. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was some good dodging right there. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know. Here's another thing to scroll. I hate auto scrolling stages. I, I couldn't get the power up. I never played Forgotten World. Uh oh, are we at a boss? Oh, this is a second. This is another area. Oh, wait, this is a boss. At least I got up to the boss. What do they consider continue? Do they consider it you like the start of the level? Oh. On you. Good luck. No, fuck that shit. Okay, so we'll go back to the game selection. Uh, let's try some Immortal. <laughs> This game is insanely dark. I think I should like tweak with the Elgato um, settings. I should do. I should do a filter to brighten this up, right? But this game is just insanely dark. Look at it before, and then look at it now. Isn't that way better? For some reason, yeah, for some reason this game is way darker than any other game on this app, and I don't know why. Brighten this shit up. 
You can get flying carpet in this game? I don't- I never got that far. It does have good graphics. Alright, here we go. Whoa, I never got this far. It's kind of cool that they kind of have a demo of... This. But th there's a part in this game where I don't know what to do. And we'll get up to that part. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's good, Stitch. That means people are going to be uh, looking at my videos. Because, uh, that happened once where ABGN covered Ninja Turtles on the Wii. And then, uh, I got a whole bunch of views, like hundreds of views on my video. And I'm like, why am I getting it? It's like, oh, ABGN covered this game. So yeah, every time he covers a game, I get tons of views. Interfere. I will slap you with my dagger. There we go. I see you have come. You must rescue Mordemar. He is captive. Many levels below. The entrance to the lower levels is hidden. Oh, no problem, Stitch. Here is a key you will need. I must go now. Yeah, those bats are the worst. Oh! oh you want to see a trick? Look, I'm magically alive. How did that happen? You find the body of a slain fighter. Yes. You find a ring. A name is etched on the band. Yes. It is locked, but you have a key. Yes. 20 gold. Yes. Find a bag. Yes, bait. I wonder- I don't know what to use the bait for, the smelling spores. Uh, if anyone knows. Don't advance. Stop. Surrender at once. Give up, wizard. No, how dare you. Oh, the wizard was twerking there. What's going on? There we go. It's a bat over here. I warned you, old man. Find a note. Danger of attack by shades. They're invisible in dark rooms. But their shadows are visible by torchlight. I got a key. Yes. It is unlocked. 50 gold. Nice. And a bottle. Uh, I don't know what's in that bottle. A scroll with a charm spell to use a will-o'-wisp. Okay, cool. Know that you could fall through the floor here. Dark here. Um. Oh, I forgot you could light the torches. Okay. No. Oh no. No, I didn't. didn't. No.
Didn't AVGN cover this? Oh no, I'm dead. It's locked, but you have a key. See, this is where I got up to. You now there's a light coming in here. And then I, I used the, um, the medallion on here. No, I don't want to restart. How do I use my items? Is it... Oh, I don't have the medallion. Um, I could use maybe the ring? Find the ring, the name is Eshno. I guess I don't have the medallion yet, but I put a medallion on, on the- and it had a shine on- the light shine on it, and I died. Let's just like, explore some more. Can't go this way. Oh, there's a medallion. How far back can I go? See, they, they let you go back pretty far. Interesting. No. See, this is the frustrating part where that's why I think a lot of people don't play this game. It's just falling through the floor is so annoying. See, everywhere I go, I fall. No. Oh. Now I'm dead. Yeah, I'm supposed to use the... Wait a minute. What if I use the Wooly Wisp, the will o wisp spell? Maybe I can see those, those things that are attacking me. Not here. Okay. Maybe the spores? Or the, the bait? You can't plant them. Okay, I need to I find a place to plant the spores. What if I use the bait? You drop the bait on the ground here. Do it. Oh! oh well, I guess I don't do that. Yeah, I'm surrounded by death. I, I feel like I'm playing Shadow uh, Gate. Shadow Gate's like this. Uh, what about the bottle? Yeah, drink the water. Ooh, cool. I, I brought up my uh, health. Ah, oh, for nothing. Watch, if I use the, uh, amulet here... You hold it up to the light. 
There is an incantation on the back. Read it. There is a blinding flash. The wizard and everything in the room is incinerated instantly. So it's like... Okay. But it brings me back here. So... I'm like, is there something I'm supposed to... What if I use the... I can't use the charm here. Maybe I should find a place to plant the spores? But it has to be in the ground. It can't be um, on this stone. No, I'm not gonna drop bait because then the worm will come out. So I, I, I. So you see my problem? I legit have no idea what to do. Seems to be a crack in the wall here. Think I could do anything here? But nah. There's something here. Like, isn't this like where soil is? It's like soil, so maybe I could plant the bait? No, not the bait. The, the spores I want to do. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. I planted it and I died. Wait. There's the spores. I died again. Yeah, that, that, that was immortal. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh... Let me get rid of this brightness. Just for that game. Uh... And try... Journey to Silius. music. After many years of space colony development, Jay's father has passed away. The evening news reported that Jay's father's death was an accident. Several days later, Jay finds a floppy disk left in his father's room. I hear the terrorists are planning against the colony development. You can tell the music sort of sounds like Batman music, right? Classic uh, Sunsoft. You must complete my mission if I cannot. It will pay the price for the death of my father. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, low G man is actually a really good game. I was bidding on that the other day. I lost. Uh, it's a good game. Uh, the game's not easy though. Low, low G man is pretty tough, but it's a good game. Oh no. That's cheat. Oh, do I- did I get fall damage? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I got shot. Can't even duck that, you see that? How am I supposed to do that? I'll just I'll just take the death. See if it continues me from the beginning. No, there is a checkpoint. Okay. See anything hit me? Go back over here. Oh, uh, I think I'll take the hit because uh, I get full life. I just remembered you do get different guns. I completely forgot about that. Uh, you do the machine gun or the shotgun? Let's do the machine gun. regular gun. I died as soon as I blew it up. No. <laughs> it keeps happening. No. No. Oh my god. Uh. 
Thank God for rewind. Hey, Chin Chin C. Uh, the fall update is out. But it's really weird, you could only access it on the first. You could download it now, but you could only access it on the first. So I time traveled and I played it. And all you could do is plant pumpkins, and I got bored, so now we're playing NES games. <laughs> I planted my pumpkins and then there was nothing else for me to do. Oh, can I fall down here? Oh. See, see, those, see those blind falls? Like, I don't know what's here. Oh, well, I time travel because I was I was annoyed because I was ready to uh, the, the only reason why I'm streaming is for the fall update So I had no choice. I, I would be wasting my time So I was like, oh, where's the fall update? So yeah, so I just time traveled And it's only two days so th th time traveling two days is not a big deal But unfortunately Chin Chin C you're gonna be very disappointed. There's nothing to do uh, you, you, you could you plant your pumpkins and you water them and then I guess you could plant you could water them the next day I don't know how long it takes to, for them to grow and then you could only buy one piece of candy per day and then that's it there's nothing else to do so I'm very disappointed in the uh Wow, you guys are hardcore against time traveling. I, I, it's not that big of a deal. How did that happen? wants to kill me, the game. I bought the Animal Crossing Switch and made it my primary, swapped the old Switch and thought I lost everything. Oh. But did, yeah, you did a transfer? Because you could transfer your save data from one switch to another, and you just what you thought like you erased it. You thought like I've never done that, so I don't know how that works. Oh, okay, great. Thing is, uh, up until recently, you couldn't even do that, so. I'm glad that they added that, but...
or I think you could. I don't know. Like the way they do their things is very confusing. So maybe you could have done that. Hey, Eric. How are you? I changed I, I changed my information. It didn't go through. Oh, I changed it to retro. I don't know why it didn't uh, go through. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, I was playing the update and then I changed because there was nothing to do in the update. Hey, hey yeah, I, I, I'm doing a very rare early stream, Aaron. How are you doing? Alright, cool. Yeah, I, I'm disappointed in the Animal Crossing update. Like, it downloaded, but then I had no access to it. You could only access it on the first. And I'm like, alright, so I time traveled and then I planted some pumpkins and then that was it. I was just kind of like, okay. And I was shaking trees and I found an acorn or two. A pine cone. I found two pine cones and then like, okay. Uh, there was nothing to do. It was boring. So, I, 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 there was nothing left for me to do in it, so. Yeah, all you do is plant pumpkins. That's, that's all you do. And then you gotta wait for them to grow. So you only, you could like, go have to water them every day or something, so. I play. Uh, well, yeah, you, you gotta change your, your internal clock for your Switch. That's all you gotta do. So that's what I did. I time-traveled to October 1st. Oh, I held down the button for too long. And overheat. No, there's no penalty. The only problem is like if you have turnips. If you have turnips, they'll spoil. But other than that, there's no penalty for time traveling. Other than spoiling yourself, I guess. But no, there's no penalty for time traveling. There's never been a penalty for time traveling. Much. Yeah, you spoil yourself and your turnips. But other than that, no, uh, no penal. No, no, you're not penalized. Basically, it's not worth playing the Halloween update until Halloween. Like, there's not really... Unless you want to start hoarding uh, pumpkins by growing a bunch of pumpkins, but there's nothing... Or you want to just, like, 
buy a candy every day until the 31st. You could do that. But there's literally like nothing to do. Like Jack is not gonna visit until the 31st. So. I never like used the track creator, so that would be really funny. <laughs> Angelo, you said that already. Now now you're spamming. Sounds fun, it's that I didn't have Excite Fight growing up, so so I didn't get to mess around with the uh, track editor. But it's cool that they had it. I think um, Wrecking Crew also had a uh, make your own stage thing, and it's cool that Nintendo did that because how many NES games had that? I mean, that's a really rare feature. Gotta stop holding down the, uh, the turbo button. I'm, I'm temperature my bike's going up. Yeah, I'm an 80s kid. I'm not as young as I appear. A curse was placed upon me and made me look younger than I am, so that's why. Um, record it on a VCR. Five people watching. Uh, let me know if there's a game on here on the Switch NES app that you want me to try out. I could also switch over to the um, Super Nintendo one. And I also have the Famicom ones. See, I have the uh, Japanese versions. I have the Famicom and Super Famicom ones. Yeah, you have able to make Mario Kart games in your house. Dare I play Punch Out? <laughs> Look at Glass Joe's eye. His eye is like all wonky looking. Glass Joe. Come on,
Yeah, I did. Not a while, though. I gotta do another NES stream because, um... I got new games, so... Eric, if you want to check out my website, that's where um, you can follow me on Twitter. I, I post when I go live. And also, you can check my YouTube page. I post videos of all the streams that I do. Oh, I'm not used to that name. I wonder if he's... Yeah, he's probably going to change it to something else, right? Uh, what NES games? Was he playing, um, emulator? Does he have, a uh, actual NES? Yeah, no problem. I, I, I just, I'm terrible at promoting myself. I don't remember to do that. And so, yeah. Yeah, my last stream was, um, Sega CD. And before that, I did Game Boy, I think? Yeah, Game Boy. And then I did Genesis. Ah, modded Wii. Good. Yeah, that's good. I have my Wii modded. You play pretty m You have a retro uh, feast there when you mod your uh, Wii. It's so satisfying to do that Super Punch. I'm good in punch out until we get up to uh, Soda Popinski. I can't beat him without like save states and like we're trying over and over again and I don't know. But up until then I'm I'm pretty good. Ow. Yeah, I forgot you if you get a star and then you get hit, you lose the star. His <laughs> jaw is made out of rubber. Yeah, pretty much. Honey bunches of steroids. Yes. 
You gotta watch his eyebrows. When his eyebrows start moving, dodge. And not for all his punches, like right there he did. Nintendo fan club. I forgot that in between rounds you could press the select button and it uh, brings up your health. for the best cutscene ever. Thank you, Stitch. Have you played Punch-Out, Stitch? <laughs> I like that emote. Where, where's that emote from, Eric? Punch out. I bid on it a few times because I want the Mike Tyson one, and that one's more valuable than just regular punch out. I, also, I was also thinking of getting the Famicom one. Maybe I would get that one. I'm not sure. It's not like high in the priority list though. Ow. Ow. I cannot be beaten by this guy. My emotes.
King Hippo. King Hippo for Smash Brothers. Yeah, I, I found Nemo. It's not in great condition, but I got a good deal on it. I don't know why I bothered getting it. That game is so difficult, I can't even beat the first level. But I, I love the game. Like, I love the graphics, and I love the music, and it's just classic Capcom, you know? But it's just, I, I, need, I need more practice in the game. My timing is bad here. <laughs> Look at poor Mac. Next NES stream, Stitch, I'll play Nemo, and I'll, I'll show it. I'll, I'll, I'll try to uh, get good. Play games on my ABS. I don't. I don't have rewind, so I just play it through. But I like to take advantage of the features of this thing. I'm like, hey, if I could rewind, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I got Rocketeer. I was pressing pause, but yeah, look, I have Rocketeer. The green screen, because the background's green. And I'm gonna play uh, Eight Eyes also. I got these two. So, yeah. Hey, Dark Solid, how are you? Welcome to the chat. How are you doing? Ow. Yes, I have to gain Little Nemo. Oh, Stitch, I didn't tell you. I bought Captain America on the NES. 
So when you mentioned it to me, I looked it up on eBay and I just uh, put it on my watch list and I said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna buy it. So that's gonna be part of my NES stream too. It's, um, I haven't, haven't gotten it yet, but I bought it, so. Because I started playing it on emulator and I'm like, you know what, this game is really good. So thank you for that suggestion, Stitch. Because I had played it a long time ago, but I just forgot about it. Let me see if I can get the cart and I'll show you the little Nemo. Uh, for it. Find it. Aha. Found it. <sighs> There's my little Nemo. There we go. Yeah, so I have it. <laughs> Chair height. Uh, I know, like the when his gem starts flashing. Is that what you were gonna say? I couldn't dodge his attack because um, I was too weak, so he didn't let me do the, the block. The chair looks scary with uh, the green screen. Hit him in the gut. Oh, yeah, you get a star that way, right? All right. Ah, thanks. Oops. Yeah, it's been so long since I played this, so I forget the little things like that. Oh. Join the Nintendo fan club. Tiger, 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 uppercut. Oh, that's a different game. Oh no. I notice a lot of people when they play this, they don't know about the block. They just keep trying, they think they, they could like dodge it. You can't dodge that. Dark Solid, thank you so much for the follow. Oops. 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 You want to see me cheat? 
Look, I'm cheating. Oops. Oh, what? My timing is off here. There we go. Yay, I won by cheating, yay. I never said this was a perfect run. Oh god, this guy. You really gotta time that stomach crunch. <laughs> Hooray! Ow. 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 Hooray for shrooms! Ow. Terrible looking at the punch over and over again, right? Ow. Oh, my timing's terrible. Ooh, I got that one. <laughs> he kind of looks like one of my uncles, so it's funny. Ow. Oh no. Oh, my timing was horrible. There we go. <laughs> Just gotta have perfect timing on that charging thing. I just got a comment on my um, Echo video. It's like, AVGN just covered this. Isn't that weird timing? I literally uploaded the video yesterday. This is the second time the timings of our games have uh, happened at the same time. I plan on doing another. I, I was planning on doing another stream of that anyway, um, because uh, I want to continue with that. I didn't get to show you guys the best part where the the aliens start popping up. It gets really trippy. That was terrible. Because um, Echo actually goes to like the aliens' planet and stuff. 
And like, you start fighting like xenomorphs. It's like really weird. I'm not paying attention, guys. I'm thinking about xenomorphs. I forget he does that three punches in a row. I don't think he does that the first time you fight him. Oops. Yeah, I, I'm definitely... I'm planning on doing some, um... Saturn... Games. Saturn horror games. Uh, actually, no, I could fight him again. Uh, I want to play Deep Fear. Um, that's probably the game I'm going to play. I also will probably play Biohazard, which is the Japanese Resident Evil. Um, I also have uh, Enemy Zero. I mean. So I have some Saturn stuff that I'm going to do. Also play um, Resident Evil 2 on the N64. To do that. Actually, let's just let's just play something else. Um, play Solomon's Key. That first level, they're like, oh, we'll give him a super easy level. Yeah, you played this? Oh! That was weird, how'd I get a fireball? I was trying to make another block. There we go. Why can't I make a block? I was trying to make a block. reset.
sure there was a sequel to Solomon's Key, I forgot what it was called. Um, that game looks really good, but it's like, the card is really expensive. I was looking for it. only released on the Famicom. It has a different title. It's not called Solomon's Key 2, but there's a, there was a sequel to Solomon's Key under a different name, and it was only released on the Famicom. And I've been looking for it. It's just expensive. I can't remember what the name is right now. But if you go to the Solomon's Key Wiki, I'm sure it's there. Oh no. the second level of this. This is terrible. Alright, next game. Um... I don't like Mighty Bomb Jack. Uh... Play some Gradius. Oh, as soon as I start, I die. Oh, I'm not that good at Ninja Gaiden. I can't beat the, uh... In 3-2 or something, I can't beat. Or is it 2-3? I, I, I can't get that far in that game. Save file for um, Ninja Gaiden. I can show you. Did I do a save state for this? Yes, I did. Oh, I got up to stage uh, 4 2. Well, I must have been using save states to get up to here. Or rewinds or something. I don't remember this save file at all. We'll go with it. Can I jump down? No, I can't. Oops. Ow. Wow, that bird was juggling me. Juggling bird. Come on, birds. Yeah, in order to get uh, good at this game, just like a lot of NES games, you just have to play this repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again, and just like memorize all the patterns or whatever. And so, yeah, I I, I probably could get through this game if I wanted to, um, but it would just take a lot of dedication, a lot of time. Um, it's really impressive how people are able to like, like Mike Matei is able to like beat this without getting hit once and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like that's dedication. 
I'm, I don't wear a hat, but I will tip my hat to you. I hate games that have knockback like that. Castlevania, all these games have the freaking knockback. I hate it. You know what's cool is if, if uh, you guys ever played um, Bloodstained. I think uh, Bloodstained has... Um, I'm talking about Curse of the Moon. Bloodstained has an easy option where you don't have knockback. I think that's nice. You know what's weird? I, I streamed um, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, and you know, like, it hasn't gotten any views. That's so weird. At least, like, all my YouTube videos at least get, like, one view. And, like, that video just didn't get any views at all. I don't know why. I thought it's kind of funny. Um, what else should we play? What we could do is we could switch to the uh, Super Nintendo one. I recommend it, Stitch. It's really good. I like the first one better. I, I didn't finish the second one. I got to the boss, or I got toward the end. I found the second one super frustrating. It was, it was, there was a lot of um, things in it that they just were, were super annoying, and I don't know. I, you know, Peacekeepers is a really good game, and it's super underrated. You know, when they first put out um, the Super Nintendo games... They gave us Brawl Bro Brothers, which is also a Jalico game. And I was like, Brawl Brothers? Wh why did they give that one? The good one is Peacekeepers. And so we finally got it. So that's good. I like to move my games around. Kind of OCD when it comes to this. That looks not good. I put this down here. So someone posted on Twitter and I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know this. When I first played this game, I thought this game just had no music. Even though you could hear music in the intro, no, you have to go into the options and you have to um, select the music to turn it on, which is really weird. Um, so I don't even see an option for that. Let me see. Two player hit is off. Anger mode is on. Music mode. Oh, that's how you do it. Is that how you do it? Alright. Yeah, because when I first played this game, I thought like, oh, that's weird, no music. We'll be Flynn. I don't know. Hey Stitch, uh, if you have this app, we, we could play two players right now if you want. Because uh, beat em ups are not so much fun by yourself. And that goes for anybody watching right now. If you want, you could, uh, you could do two players. I didn't even think to ask that when I was playing NES games. Ow. 
Ow. Um, let me go... I can make an online session. Oh, no problem, Dark. Alright, so I made a session. Actually, we'll save Peacekeepers until Stitch comes in. Why don't I play something else and... I've never been good at pit cross. I never played this wrestling game. Uh, I think I played a little bit of Operation Logic Bomb. It's not bad. Wild Guns is good. Hmm. What is wrestling me? Hey, stitched. All right. Okay, I didn't expect you to join so quickly. Nice. Let's go to peacekeepers. <laughs> So yeah, we gotta turn the music on. Which is really weird. Okay. So what character would you like? Uh... Uh, I'll be Echo. Hey, have you played this before, Stitch? I got to hurry. I must avenge my grandfather. I can't let DM continue to destroy my men. Yeah, Stitch, you punch with Y, you jump with B, and then, um, X, you raise your fist, I don't know why, and then your special is, uh, A, and I think you lose health when you use your special. Step on the mines there. Ow. Oh, I think I left friendly fire on, right? Didn't I in the options? So yeah, we might be able we might be able to punch each other. Oh yeah, this is like a maze. So, we can either go up or right. Um, let's just... Ow. Stop grabbing me. Um, let's just go up then.
I think he's still alive. Oh no. There we go. Terminate, destroy, you must not survive. Connor, what happened to you? You will lose. Uh oh. Oops. Oh, so Stitch, if you press uh, X and then press A, you could do your special. You have two of them. Oh, cool. Start stitch. Oh, you can change characters. Cool. Alright. You are trapped. What's happening? Explosion. Chaos. You are doomed. I would be uh, pro what pro cop? I I remember renting this game as a kid. Explosion damage our lab. Genetic mutations are occurring all over the complex. What's causing them? Dr. Ago has been using experiments, all kinds of genetic code, and cause horrible side effects. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yoga fire. Yoga flame. I think that mutation is kind of cute. I forgot to bring Pokeballs. That little thing was Blanca, and I'm uh, Dalsim, apparently. There we go. Ooh, nice. I got a rock, watch out. Oh, that was not. I grabbed that mutant by the head and slammed him down. Uh, you can get that. You have less health than I do. Oh, I'll get it. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Yay, I slammed you on your head. Oh, there's some guy there. Oh, he, he, this guy can't run. The other characters can run. These genetic mutants are the result of DM playing with power. It has no business using. Okay. Oh. 
And I cogs them to death. Oops, I, I pressed the fire button. Ow. Ow. <laughs> You're applauding yourself for punching me? Uh-oh. What's up with you? Say hello to my little friend. Oh, it's Al Pacino. Ow! Why can't he grab me and start attacking? He didn't grab you. Oh, cool. I was trying to hit him. Tony uncle I'm playing uh, peacekeepers with stitch it's kind of fun things I, I turned on friendly fire or I didn't turn off friendly fire so we, we keep hitting each other you know what's really weird about this game Tony um, you have to turn on the music in the in the options if you just go to start the game there's no music in the game have you ever heard of a game doing that you literally have to go to the options, turn on the music, and then you can start the game. If you want music. Otherwise, you play the game with just sound effects. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. There we go. Uh oh. I'm in super mode. Yeah, I don't know what happens when you start glowing like that. I think like we're just is that that's our like berserker mode, I think. Should we go up or right? I say let's go right. Oops. Oops, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> Oops. Boulders? No.
I didn't realize how loud the music was. Is this music too loud? Let me lower it a little bit. Ow. What is that? What I like about this game is there's different paths. Oh. Yeah, I eat a lollipop. Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, you become way more powerful when you start, like, blinking. These guys have a lot of health. I think we unlock like another character. I remember there was like a yellow like robot thing. Yeah. Depending on what path we take. And then like there's another character you unlock if you take a different path. Yeah. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Did you uh, pause? Why well, paused? Somebody paused. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, what we could do is we could just do a suspend point. And then let me know when you come back. No problem, we could continue where we were. That's what's good about having this service. Because you could just, you, you could do uh, save points and whatever. So yeah, cool. Uh, what else should we try? Actually, yeah, we, were, we could look at the new games that they added for this wrestling game. Um, I guess we'll do championship tournament. Should I be Asteroid, M. Roach, H. Snake? Oh my god, look at these faces. Fangs, Phantom, The Viper, Spike, Big Ape, A. Craze, A. Nano Goblin, Conan, K. Bruto, and Python. Let's be Asteroid. Oh my god, what is this? No problem, Stitched. Ow! 
I think I like the NES wrestling better. I don't even know what character I am. I think I'm the red one. Ultra Sun, the journey continues? What is that, um, Nano Goblin? Oh, the controls are terrible. Okay, we're gonna not play that. Our token. Hey, Ramby. Can he break through this? That's not. No rhinos allowed here. Over here? Oh, okay. Ow. Okay, at least you got that continued. No. Should be able to roll that barrel and knock all, out all those enemies. There we go.
Oh, an invisible barrel. Okay. Oh, whoop, whoop. Oh. Try not to get hit here. Boing. Destroy them all. Oh. Did not do a good job there. Okay. Boing. All right, cool stitch. Uh, I will. Let me know when you're ready. Yay! All right. Here we go. This guy's so annoying. There we go. His name is Squash. Yay, we squash, squash. the correct paths to go on. Get that soda can.
Ow. Oops. <laughs> I didn't want to do that to you, Stick. Knife. Hey, hi Ultimate Mail, how are you doing? This is Peacekeepers. It was just added to the, uh... Thank you for the host. Uh, it was just added to the... Super Nintendo app on the Switch. I'm playing right now with uh, Stitch. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Please do us the courtesy in this experiment, won't you? Blah, blah, blah. What is that? Oh, cool. Oh, peacekeepers. Oh, peacekeepers. Ow. Yes, Super Nintendo game. Yes, peacekeepers. Uh, this is the original console, Super Nintendo. No, it's a Jalico game. We got him. Oh no, it was a little girl. They mutated a child. Yay, mutated children. Yeah, their games are like, it's, it's like a step below where like a final fight or a um, Streets of Rage would be, but it's still pretty okay. You want to continue stitched? You want to stop? Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, no problem. We can uh, do another save state. So Ultimate, uh, when they first did the Super Nintendo games on the Switch, they put Brawl Brothers, which is another uh, Jalico game. And I was thinking, Brawl Brothers, they need to put Peacekeepers, it's the better game. And so they finally did. Um, so that's cool. 
Um, but yeah, both of these games are, are pretty good. Um, let's do Poppin' Twinby. Alright, bye. Thank you for dropping by and thank you for the host. Yeah, if you got a Switch, check it out. Uh, game difficulty. And I'll pick the lowest one because I'm not great in this. Uh... Hey, I can put my name. Normal, surrounded, or engulfed? I guess normal? Yeah, it is. Pineapples, killer pineapples. Actually, they, they look like they're minding their own business. I feel bad for like blowing them up. They're not attacking me or anything. Don't worry about it, Stitched. That's how dogs are. Spitfire, how are you doing? So let me do a shout out to Ultimate and then let me do a shout out to Spitfire. Uh, yeah, I started out doing Animal Crossing stream because I wanted to check out the fall update, but I was not impressed. So we switched to uh, playing some NES games and Super NES games on the Switch. How are you doing? What are you going to stream today? More Castlevania 3 or did you beat Castlevania 3? Yeah, you've been doing long hours, so you should be tired. No problem. Enjoy your day off. I'm trying to blow up these enemies. I only, you only have to attack the front of it, I guess. Not the little berry parts. Okay. That's why I tried to stream like every other day, um, cause like I just, I, I, I like time to like to support the other, other streamers and also just kind of not get burned out. Um, Oh, okay, cool. Oh, 
Uh, Spitfire, you never played Dragon's Quest? Dragon's Quest on the NES was actually given away for free by um, Nintendo Power Magazine, which is kind of cool. And ironically, um, that game is worth a lot of money now if you try to buy that cart. I, I don't- I haven't played much Dragon Quest. The only time I did was uh, I played Dragon Quest Builders. I played the first one and the second one and I loved it. Um, which is ironic because I don't- I've never played a Dragon Quest game and I don't play Minecraft. But that game is a mix of uh, Dragon Quest and Minecraft. So... It's a great game. And you don't have to know anything about Dragon Quest or Minecraft to, to play that game. Okay, Stitch, you could jump on in anytime you want. Yeah, I did a video for Dragon Quest Heroes like a long time ago. Um, it's on my channel. You could just check out the official trailers for the game. Yay, Stitch! Okay. Let me just, uh... I already have a suspend point for this. Uh, let's go back to... Alright, pick your character, Stitch. Dragon Quest XI? Yeah, it looks really good. That was like a PlayStation 4 game, right? And then they just put it on the Switch. They added a lot of extra content, and I think some of that content is Switch exclusive. Ow. Yoga Flame. This guy can't run. He's just so sluggish. Oh, grenade. The mod the PC version. Can you see you play a super tough game soon? Oh. Uh, well, I was playing Punch Out earlier, and I didn't make it that far. Well, I, I sort of did. And I played Ninja Gaiden a little earlier. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 3, um, I mean Ninja Gaiden 3. Uh, Castlevania 3 is pretty tough. I don't know how far I've gotten to that game. I played it on the Castlevania collection. But I was using save states. I don't know if I've, uh... I like to see how far I can get just doing a a run without it. Yeah, that ver that version has the the best audio. Kind of grab him. To be honest, I listened to them back to back and I didn't notice it being that different. I mean, there was like subtle differences, but it's not, I don't know. If you never, if you're used to the US version, then it's not like a big deal. It's not like the US version is unplayable or anything. Yeah, you know what's really weird is when Nintendo made the NES, they didn't put the, the, those ex the expanded audio capabilities. That was only in the Famicom. 
Isn't that kind of weird? I don't know why they did that. Maybe cost-cutting measure or something. So that's why those carts will only work. Even if you use like an adapter to play the Famicom games on a US NES, you won't get that audio because this, that, th those capabilities are just not in the US or the European um, console. I don't get it. But... Yeah, cost-cutting, yeah. Nine hours? Whoa. Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, so so this part, if we don't smash the controls of the airplane fast enough, then we end up in a different thing, I think, or a different part of the game. So this will determine our path. I think we did it, right? Maybe the end. Oh no, we didn't do it. So we, we, it doesn't. It's not game over. We just the, the plane ends up crashing, and we go to a different area. Versus if we had destroyed that in time or something. Yeah, Snake Plitskin Avenue. Isn't that kind of funny? That's from a Escape from New York. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Ow. Uh oh, it's getting laggy. This is too much awesomeness for the switch to handle. Yeah, I recommend it. I mean, if you want to, you could play it through emulation or if you have a Switch, you could just play it on Switch. Oh no, game over. <laughs> that is not uh, applause worthy. Oh man. Oh. It does, it, it does have an interesting story and there's different paths you could take, so it is cool. 
uh, stitched, we can uh, play a different game. What game would you like to play? Oh, th there is a, um, I was playing this with Scooter. We could play Mario Brothers, the arcade mode. Yay. Yeah, do do retro art. Is it in here? All right, here we go. Yeah, like, yeah, when, when um, Scooter asked me to if I wanted to play this, I didn't know what he was talking about. I was like, oh, I forgot. In Super Mario All-Stars, they had this kind of remix, like, redo, uh, remake of uh, the original Mario Brothers in here. I was like, cool. Hi, Baron Von Creepy. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, it's a tie so far. We need one more coin. Yeah, me too. I love when they upgraded the 8-bit to the 16-bit. Looks pretty cool. Um, congratulations, Stitch, for winning that. Uh, oops, wait. wait. Is this a skating game like Jet Set? Oh, what is that called? Oh. Ollie King? Okay. There's a game that I'm waiting to come out. Um, it was originally only going to come out on Steam, but I think they announced a Switch port. It's called Skatebird. You're literally like a bird who skateboards. And it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm hyped for skate bird. Wow, we G1 again. Oh no. Wow, Stitch, you keep winning. Nice, you won. Hey Alex, how are you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. 
Let's try another five games, uh, Stitch, then we can move on to something else. Unless you want to play something else. It does feel laggy. There's a op there's an option to stop lag on here. You can try it. Let me see. I'm trying to remember where it is. Settings. Uh, I don't remember. I don't want to quit it. There's an option here uh, to stop the lag. I don't remember how to do it. There is an option for that. Um, is Wild Guns two players? It is. <laughs> yeah, Baron. Let's try this. I don't remember playing this two players. I don't think I've ever... Let's see. Let's try easy. First start. Uh. Uh. I guess I'll be. We'll both be Clint. Oh, yeah. This is the versus mode. So I guess we'll try to get whoever gets the most points. Yeah, Shatterhand's a really great game. I have a multi-cart, and the multi-cart has Shatterhand in it. It's, uh, that game's very expensive to, uh, buy. So I'm glad that I just have it on a multi-cart. Yeah, it is really good. I don't know why they haven't added it to here, because that, that's a Natsume game. And Natsume have been very supportive of the uh, Nintendo Switch by putting NES and Super NES games on here. And they own the rights to it, it's not a rights issue. So for whatever reason, they have not put Shatterhand, um, but they have put other games. So I think at some point, hopefully they will put Shatterhand. Oh, you can just hold down the Y button. Well, that makes things easier. Yeah, I recommend playing Shatterhand. It's really, really good. one of those games that nobody knew about until like YouTube became a thing and all of a sudden the, the price of that game skyrocketed. Same thing with like Mr. Gimmick and uh, Little Samson, you know, that, that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, Kid Icarus is tough though. I was trying to do like a full run of that and I I, I gave up. <laughs> I got toward the end though, but it was just really tough. Hey, Stitch, you won. Can we play the full game two players? We can. Oh, I thought it was just a verse mode. I'll be Annie. Uh, I was playing the Famicom Disk System version um, of uh, Kid Icarus. Um, it has different sound effects. But it's pretty much the same.
Okay. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I thought we only had like that versus mode. I was like, you know how a double dragon was on the NES? Where you could only do uh, the verse mode? I it was like that. That's our special. You could like uh, blow everything up. Yeah, Spitfire, um, I, I, on my channel, I showed, like, the different Famicom Disk System versions of, like, Metroid, Zelda, Kid Icarus. It just had different, um, music and different, um, sound effects. And also, uh, for Kid Icarus and, um, Metroid, it had a save feature, and, um, the NES versions, they did not have a save feature, they had to use passwords. It's all up to you, Stitch. It's all up to you. You can do it. Oh, this is your last life. Thank you to the 12 people watching. I appreciate it. Oh, I didn't do our shoutouts. Shout out to Baron Von Creepy. Shout out to Spitfire. I think I shouted you out already, I'm not sure. That looks at Alex J. Paz. Yeah, did you um did you beat Contra Hard Corps? I don't remember if I beat that. I know I played it on the Contra Collection. Let me guess. No continues. Oh, we gotta continue. Well, all right. Okay, I could be Annie this time, or we could both be Annie. I don't know. Up to you, Stitch. I just want to see where it will continue us. Oh, see, it just takes us back to the first level. That's kind of weird. Okay, well, let, let's let's do another run and let's see if we can uh, get gooder. I like when they say look out. So yeah, when that little bubble comes up that says look out, dodge. They're like letting you know. See, I didn't dodge, got hit. Oh, that's a cool gun you got. How do you change guns?
Yeah, have you played Wild Arms before? You know, they did a remake for the Switch. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, like, there were not that many games like this, you know, it's a shooter, but, like, the, the, the gameplay of it is much different than other games. Because it, it's like a platform, third-person shooter, like a shooting gallery kind of game. You're out. I will avenge you. Are we done? This guy. Oh, got him. What is this, Contra? What's going on here? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, nice. was whining. I thought he was faking. He pooped on the floor. Oh no, the doggo. That sucks. You took that dog out twice and look what he did to you. That is not cool. Don't worry about it, Stitch. Go, go, go clean up the doggo. <laughs> Bam those emotes. Yeah, I'm not I don't have pets either because of of that stuff. They're cute, but there's a lot of responsibility and a lot of bull. Well, at least no 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 pee. Yay. Um, what I can do is, uh, so I showed you guys the NES app and the Super NES app. I could show you the Famicom apps. And then the Super Famicom, because there are game differences. Accidentally overfed your goldfish? Oh no. Uh, gun deck. What is gun deck? Oh, this is a uh, codename Viper, I think. Yeah, this is. I think this is codename Viper. This is what it was called. Um, that different name in Japan.
spamming the B button. Spamming the B button. Yeah, Split, Spitfire, this game is actually very similar to Scatter, um, Shatterhand. The graphics, it, it pretty much uses the same engine. Like, they're, they're, these are pretty much just reskinned. I don't know which game was made first, but it uses the same... Um, Uh, in the U.S. is called Codename Codename Viper. In Japan, it was called. Um, keep this data. Yeah, in Japan, it was called Gun Deck for some reason. Um. I'm pretty positive it's called Codename Viper. Let me double check. No, Codename Viper is the Capcom game. Then what the heck is this game called? I'll look up Gun Deck and. Vice Project Doom. That's what it's called. I keep getting it confused with Vi with a uh, codename Viper. So yeah, if you guys want to know about this game, I'll post the link in the chat. And uh, yeah, so in Japan, it's called Gun Deck. Uh, and, and to get the Japanese, uh, you need to make a separate email address. Um, if if you just Google how to make a Japanese account to download the the Famicom app, you'll, you'll get a tutorial. It's very easy. You just go to Nintendo's website and you make a, um, you have to use a different email address than the email address you use now. Um, and then you'll able to go to the Japanese eShop and download these. And you don't have to pay anything extra or whatever. It's all part of your um, subscription. Um, go back. So you see like I have a sword, I could change to uh, my gun, and I have like bombs. Oh, you have limited ammo. Never mind, I don't want to use that. Uh, just save your ammo for the boss. I wish I had had Sony color palette. What do you mean by a Sony color palette? Oh, I don't like these, this disappearing floor crap they're doing. Hey, Vance. Thank you so much for the host. Uh, you don't know there are different color patterns for the NES games based on video output. Nintendo didn't allow you the option to change them. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Um, well... I have an ABS, and ABS has different color palettes, and um, I chose one, I forgot what it's called, but there are different color palettes on there, so if you get something like the ABS, you can choose uh, color palettes. Uh, let me do a shout out. Okay, 
I, I didn't see the title for that as Sony. It may have been called something else. Uh, you could change the um, color palette on the on Mister. Okay, cool. Oh, the color palette I use is called unsaturated, I think, and it just looks it just looks better. The reason why I'm not doing so great is because I'm using X and A on the controller. It's very weird to play these games with X and A because Nintendo doesn't allow you to change the controls. You can change the controls on a system level, but only for first party controllers and I'm using a third party controller. So Nintendo's like, screw you and you're wanting button mapping. Like, oh, you want button mapping? Well, here you go with some restrictions. Ha ha ha. Spamming that attack button. These things are dropping everywhere. Oh no. There's some ninja guiding shit going on here. Uh, we could check out other games on here. So this is the Japanese version of Rygar. I can show you guys. I bought this cart, so I, I have the Japanese version of Rygar, and what I like is like a, it's like a on a purple cart. It's like a lilac kind of lavender color cart. Um, the Japanese version of Rygar has different music and like other subtle differences. So I decided I will buy it because I love Rygar. Rygar height. You notice the music is different, right? The US version of this, the, the music kind of sounds like Superman music. It's very like heroic sounding and epic sounding. This this soundtrack is kind of more subtle and it's not bad. It's just more it's not as epic sounding. Maybe that's why they changed it. It's like Americans want more grandiose music. <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, when I first played this game, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was going around in circles. And eventually, I found the first upgrade, which is the uh, grappling hook. And then after that, it was smooth sailing. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was able to beat this game, but I'm using save states. What I'd like to do is next time I do like um, in my AVS streams, I'm going to play the original cart and then we're going to try to play this without save states. Dun dun dun. Oh, I don't know what you're saying. I don't speak Japanese. Sorry, sir. Bye. I think a mister is great if you're just starting into getting to everything. Like, if you're just starting and you're like, oh my god, I, I don't have any consoles and I, I'm new to emulation. And it's your all-encompassing all thing. Like, everything is on there. So you can do all your retro stuff all in one spot. So, for me, I, I have consoles and I have other ways to emulate. And so I have all that. So a mister isn't for me. 
but I would recommend that definitely for somebody that wants to get into like a whole bunch of stuff and they don't have like anything. They're kind of starting over. And also what's cool about Spitfire is now he wants the original consoles. He, he got a taste of all this retro stuff and he's like, oh, now he wants to get a Dreamcast. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, it, in the US app, this game is called um, Journey to Silius, and in here it's called Raph World. I don't know why, but it is. This game is pretty good. I have the cart for this too. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Digging through my cart. Aha! Did I find it? I did find it. It's called uh, something something Atlantis. I don't know what it's called. But I, I have it too. Um, Famicom exclusive made by Sunsoft. Hey Static! Hey EC Myers. Well I got a lot of shout outs to do. Uh... Hey, Static. Yes, Atlantis knows Nazo. I forgot, what is that called? It, how do you pronounce that in um, English? Let's see. I'm on uh, Wikipedia. The mystery of Atlantis. So Nazo is mystery. I I'm not good with my Japanese. Yeah, I'm glad that you uh, were able to make a stream, uh, Spitfire. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Static. Uh, no, because I was all hyped for the um, Animal Crossing update. And I was like, I'm going to do an early stream. We're going to do Animal Crossing. And uh, the, the update was a bust. First of all, it doesn't activate until the first. So I had to time travel to the first. And then I planted some pumpkins. And then you only can buy one candy per day. So I bought my candy. And I was like, okay, what is there to do? So that's, I was like, okay, random NES stream because it was, just, it was a, kind of a bust. Yeah, so nothing, you can't really do anything until actual Halloween 31st. That's where Jack visits the village, and then you can um, start trick-or-treating and stuff. But you can't do it, do anything now, so. Yep. But when I first played this game, I don't know what. And yes, the bats are the bats are pooping. The bats are pooping. Oh, I died. Um. Oh, poop killed me. So, I. Please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, EC Myers may know about this. This was supposed to be a pitfall game, I believe. And did Sunsauce lose the license with Activision or something? And so they just made this its own game. But I think this was supposed to be a pitfall game. Ah, yes! Okay, you just put it in the chat. So yeah, this was like a prototype. Okay. Sunsoft has such bad luck with that stuff. Same, same thing happened with Terminator turning into Journey of Silius, and then Superman turning into Sunman, and then not getting released. I don't know, uh... Sunsoft had issues with, uh, licensing. They didn't have a problem with Batman, though, or, or Gremlins, but... It's not a great game, but for some reason I like it. 
Also, it's kind of cool that the snails are wearing sunglasses. If you know this. Oh wait, I want to get that treasure. Oh, I wonder why they wouldn't put this on the U.S. app and only on the uh, <laughs> Japanese one. It's like, oh, Americans won't like this crap. Ah, it's on the Famicom Mini. Interesting. You stupid snail, come on. Oh, I ran out of time. Uh, I actually do really like this game, and I got really far in it, and I got up to a point where I didn't know how to do it because everything's invisible. So I, I can show you guys that. It's my, uh, my save state. Wait, oops. What did I don't know. No. This is to load. So this is the level I'm stuck at. You see, like, everything's invisible, and then you could only see stuff by, um... Throwing your, um... Yeah. What level is this? Yeah, 89. I got to level 89. Can you believe that? 89. And I, 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 I couldn't beat this level. And you know I like this game if I got up to level 89. I didn't, I, I, I didn't even realize that I was that high up, but... Yeah, it's just, I don't like this mechanic because it's like, I can't see where anything is. Look, it's not even lighting up now. I don't know why, but... No, there's no torch. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. So. But yeah, I recommend giving this game a shot because all the levels kind of change and there's different warps and you can warp to different, um, you could skip certain levels depending on which path you take, you could skip a few levels. Um, oh, 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 wait, 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 that was progress, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, am I on ice? Why am I sliding down? I made progress. Oh. I lost the progress that I made. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna do a save state. It keeps sliding off. So it's, it's bad enough that you can't see, but everything's ice. And like, how, how am I supposed to... All right, good night, Spitfire. Thank you so much for joining the stream. You have a good night. He's on UK time, so it's night. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, God Slayer. This is uh, Crystallis in the US. They call it God Slayer, which is a more epic name, isn't it, uh, in Japan. This? I don't know what game this is. This was only on the Japanese app, uh, Famicom app, not on the US one. I'm sure uh, East Myers knows what this game is. Looks like Godzilla 2 on the NES, which was like a strategy.
don't know how to play. But hey, that's a Super Mario Superstar right there, just in red. But yeah, I can't play this game. I don't know. This is a Sunsoft game, Route 16 maybe? Yeah, Route 16. This was not on the US app. So in this game, you have to try to get to, um, you have to go into these different areas to try to get, try to find stuff. But when it zooms out, I'm not sure where I am. Am I the blue dot? I'm the blue dot. Okay. Can we go into 117? Oh, wait, 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 money. Wait, wait, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let's go into 124. Ah, money. Oh, when you hit the oil, you slow down. Okay. But, you know, so the blue dots in the middle tell you that there is something there to get, so let's go in, in uh, 62. Yeah, this game is very odd, I never heard of it, but I love Sunsoft games, so it's cool that I was able to uh, check this out. Uh, let's, let's go to... Oh, there's a flag in uh, here. Oh. Game over.